All right, so today I'll try to uh, talk to you about geophones and uh, their role in, in geophysics or when it comes to seismic data acquisition. So uh, in the sea, we know that uh, what is used to receive the signal from the source is uh, the hydrophone. So the source is the source in, in, in the sea in a marine acquisition is an air gun, but then uh, the receiver is a hydrophone which is towed behind the ships. But in the, a typical acquisition on land. Uh, we use either the hammer for a seismic source and uh, or there are the trucks there are the trucks that uh, are used to give uh, sweeps uh, or either mechanized sources I mean there are different kinds of sources so those give the source but then the receiver here, which is called a geophone. There are different kinds of geophones for a typical land um, seismic acquisition. And I want to show you, they come with different frequencies and different components. So um, this, the first on your right, a typical geophone, just like the others but you see that it has a short cable. This particular geophone is a thin haze geophone and it is sensitive in the vertical direction. So it is planted in the earth this way and when the earth vibrates or when the source is, 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 is ignited, it senses the motion in the vertical direction this way. So well, I'd like to also show you what the typical connector is like. So it has a, the French will call it a fish banana. This and that is connected to the seismic station and it is plugged into the station. There is another hole which has another fish banana in the other hole so I mean the two are connected and the signal coming from the geophone passes through to this to the station so this particular geophone um, you can see on the uh, what is um, on the other side is uh, a hole which has a thread in it and it has this metal which is normally fitted into it so basically this is how it looks like and this, uh, this is a 10 heads geophone this is a similar one it's a similar 10 heads geophone just i just used it to show you the difference between what is um, how the, the metal here is, is, is fixed so it must um, it is very important that after every acquisition we try to um, ensure that nothing was uh, lost like you see for this one the, the metal was lost because normally that is what is planted in the earth and upon, uh, upon removing it some of the students can easily forget I mean or it can uh, the thread can be loosened so that it is removed without the the metal that is planted in the earth so it's very important that after every acquisition we ensure that all our materials are safe and uh, intact as we brought them so I'll show you the other geophone which is a 60 hertz geophone you see this blue one is a 60 hertz geophone and uh, 
what is important about this job fund to mention also is that it's, it's not only sensitive to a vertical movement but also to a horizontal movement so that um, imagine the the job fund is planted and uh, there is a the source is given it it doesn't only it's not only sensitive this way but then any movement in this direction it senses it as well um, the difference between this one and that one is just that this one is a 60 hertz and this is a, it's a thin hertz and it has a longer the 60 hertz it has longer uh, uh, cable extension so that you could go as far as five meters from your line of acquisition and the other kind of geophone that I want to show you is this. It's a three component. This is what we call a three component geophone. And this geophone, so you can see basically three component vertical, horizontal, one stands for the vertical, other for the horizontal, and then the other for the radial, the radial component of, of the geophone. So um, they are equally connected by this uh, vet, uh, uh, long longitudinal or longitudinal and this the transverse and this the radial component just each one for these so it also has a, a five meter cable extension and uh, uh, yeah, so this has three components. Unlike the other ones, this is sensitive to two directions, the horizontal or the longitudinal and then the transverse. And this is sensitive to only the vertical. And so, uh, yeah, you see the different kinds of geophones that we have. They come in different frequencies. They come with sensitivity to uh, different directions of movement and they come also with uh, different cable lengths so uh, yeah when it comes to what is inside this so the other well, kind I'll refer of you to geophone that I wanted to show you is what you see here which is mostly used in earthquake seismology so this is also on earth Normally, it is installed at a place where it shouldn't be touched, and the, the connectivity is through this place. And uh, this is a typical Neomax geophone, and it's three components, like you saw on the other one. The difference between this one and what you saw on the previous one is that this one is fixed. And it doesn't move and it's used for earthquake seism uh, seismology um, what is different with the other one is that the other one is movable so we use it to take three component data at any place anywhere we want to and it can also be used to measure or take data for a couple of uh, 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 longer time, longer time studies. In other words, if we want to do uh, some analysis of, uh, let's say, uh, Remy analysis, um, we, we can take uh, data for a longer period so that uh, more than one millisecond uh, and then we can analyze the noise. So this particular one is stationary and is fixed for earthquake studies. Whereas the previous ones that I showed you are for field um, acquisition and they are moved uh, about, yeah. Uh, some of my other videos and you would find what is inside the geophone and how it is made up so please subscribe to the channel and then uh, stay put for more videos